today. A lot of paperwork. Very exciting. Moving paper around in files, making sure numbers match. Quite exciting. <laughs> you sound so excited about that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to get on here on this call. So uh, it, it'll be going a lot uh, more exciting now. Now that I have you here, so how's the how are the clients today? Good man, just uh, trying for them to work on form. Today was for most of them push day. Okay, so it's just about maintaining form. Some are advancing from like a push up, regular push up to like more advanced forms of push ups. Uh, most of my clients are pretty like you could say standardly fit. Like they're not these. They, I mean, most of the women have maybe twelve to seventeen percent body fat, which is not bad. I mean, you don't want to. You, yeah, you don't want to get too low, to right? get too low on the body fat. That can be unhealthy. Right. I mean, women will naturally have a tendency to have more fat on, on them just biologically. Just, you know, if they want to rear kids. Right. Makes sense. But yeah, uh, so far so good. I just came from uh, Beham, the area. Nice. The area. Yeah, like south of, no, sorry, north of downtown. Nice. And I just drove here. I'm right now in Big Beaver, uh, Troy Plaza. Liquid Death Coffee, looking to sponsor the podcast. It's not. Wow. It's not coffee. This is a uh, just a natural. Oh, it's water. water. Oh, it's water. Do they have it's coffee not... too, or is it just water? No, it's just water. It, it looks like it looks like an energy drink, but what it really is, it's uh, just like their marketing of liquid death, essentially killing your thirst. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's actually is it, becoming is it prominent. cost effective. I mean, I've seen it all over the place. Is it like what? What's the price on it? Yeah, it's pretty cheap actually. It's gotten a little more expensive by ten cents, tw technically twenty cents. So it used to be one eighty nine plus the ten cent deposit they have to pay up front, and then now it's one ninety nine. So you know, and what's like a Fiji water for comparison? Is it more bougie or less bougie than Fiji water? It's less bougie than Fiji water, and plus it's in a can, and you know, so it's not it's not in a bottle. It's not in a plastic bottle. I wonder what's easier to recycle, plastic or aluminum. You all, you'll probably get 10 cents uh, back on this, depending on where you go. You know, not every store will take uh, this, depending if they sell this or not. Right. So, yeah. Uh, Scott said he was going to be on in a few, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, wait momentarily. Um, cool. Yeah, do you, if you want to touch on high-level stuff uh, once he gets on. Yeah, um, I think we're... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I have... a. Uh, I've updated most of the emails. Uh, some people are still pending, you know, getting back to me. I texted, uh, I texted, uh, well, about him, his wife as well, and other people that I didn't have last week have gone back to me. So, uh, did you add some people? I saw it's up to ninety, or is it, is it the same? No, I, I did not. If there's more, that's good because we told Scott last week to bring his crew, so that means he's added to it. So I don't think we've invited anybody else to that list yet. So um, if we want to expand it, we can. But it sounds like um, at least for the initial run of invites. We're pretty close, right? We want to go a little bit wider, maybe. We're, we're pretty close to the hundred that we targeted. Yeah. I know most of those hundred looking at those, some of those names now may not go. Like I'm not. Yeah, they're not going to make it through qualifying, right? Because like, first of all, not all of them are ready for the wild. You know, even yeah, though we, we removed the pooping in the woods obstacle, and some people are still going to say, "Hey, that's too much wilderness for me." So, it's it's okay. We're not going to get everybody, but yeah, I think it means that yeah, that's a good good knit crew for the beginning, and then. Um, we can always follow up if like we have core people that are, you know, in the, cr in one of the crews that we don't have on that list right now, you know, you want to bring in. Right. Like, yeah, I mean, but... Gerald might have some people that aren't on the list yet. I mean, same with Will, same with everybody. Andreas might have some people that we haven't thought of yet, but I, I assume so many people we've had invites for a couple of years out there and they just, again, the pooping in the woods or <laughs> whatever it is. Like, yeah, dude, like I said, I mean, you and I have gotten most of our people, uh, I would say, I mean, I've, got, I've put down at least maybe eight to 10 of my like personal network. But I mean, if we get the rest of the crew to put down just five, just five each at most, and we could probably combine that with Lucy and Andres, but if they each have five shit, that's, that's perfect. That's then at that point, we just extend that list to 150. Right. But right now it's, 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 uh, pending right now. We're essentially at that limit that we originally started off with. Totally. Uh, yeah, and uh, I also I think I had one more question in between the last week's meeting and right now. It was in regards to the retreat, kind of bringing in more retreat based as opposed to abstract as, uh, as I wanted to start. Because, you know, like I said uh, last week, I wanted to start abstract, kind of get yeah, the, the, the whole cultural thing and then bring it down to the subtopics of what that retreat would be for bringing people together with, with the elite culture in mind. Yeah. Let me pull that up. A second did you add to it i did i did i added one more question oh, okay. uh, yeah, I see it. 
for individuals that have been to this retreat in past years? What have you taken away from those experiences? Yeah, so it's directing that pointed question of, yeah, what is the takeaway, right? Right. And it's kind of open-ended, right? Because you're kind of wanting to draw, I'm just guessing here, so tell, tell me if I'm wrong, but like by doing that, you just, you're not anchoring their brain to any one experience. You're just saying, hey, what did you find, you know, as a notable experience on this trip? And yeah. you know, write, write the note. For sure. And I was just thinking in regards to uh, these questions, if this would potentially be like a fireside chat, mm-hmm. you know, like once we have a big fire and we have people circled. Oh, around, yeah. We yeah. could. Oh, we look at this surprise guest on the pod. We got Kyle Flowers oh, got in, the Kyle in the house. What's up, dude? Wow. Not much. I just didn't want to eat uh, at the beginning of the pod. So fair enough. Fair enough. You didn't. Yes. What were you eating, though? Is this from the uh, same location that you showed me? Oh, look at this. Why does Scott have to be admitted? That's I don't know. Uh, it Scott is. Scott Neverline can now join the meeting. It's our local uh, It's our local munchies spot. Munchies. Just, it's not just literally munchies. It's also figuratively munchies. <laughs> yes. Very good. What'd you order? Uh, just a chicken burrito. Okay. Nice. Just, kept, just kept it simple. It's basically. All literally, like, literally called munchies. It's on what? Maple and... Uh, uh, Rochester. Rochester. Yeah. Maple and Rochester. Look at all these things we're sponsoring right now. What the heck? <laughs> Sponsored by Munchies. But, uh, uh, marketing. Look, I, yeah. I admitted Scott, and now he just is like waiting outside the door. You know, I, I, uh, I, yeah, I sent him the link as well. I sent him the link, and um, uh, he said he was going to be on in five. There, there he is. is. Ladies Yo. and gentlemen, coming What's to you live on? from the tour bus. Live from the bus. Wow. Yo. That's awesome. Is it like you get some mood lighting going on over there? It looks like candle lit. I got a little blue light here. Wow, blue light. Yeah. I thought people were going for the blue light blockers, but you're you're going for the supporters of the blue light. Yeah, it's still a little vibe going. Yeah, you're not a Coors Light guy, more of a blue light guy. Eh, can be, yeah. With that Red Wings hat on, we're going to sponsor. I got around, dude. Season starts yeah, we'll tomorrow. sponsor. Blue light. Drink Canadian the- beer. Season actually started last night. I can't believe uh, the Blackhawks came back and uh, they, play? they played uh, the Penguins last night. Yeah, we have Detroit like teams either for of those so teams. long. Oh yeah, we 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 as Detroit fans hate that. So no thanks. Lions though, Lions so far so good. But I, I take I saw a stat. I saw a stat today. Said first four and run record since ninety one, which qualifies my lifetime. So that's pretty good. Wait, what? What was the what was the record? First, first four and one start for the Lions since oh. nineteen ninety one. Okay, I thought first four in a row because we've had five no, no, in a row. No, no, no. Yeah, one yeah game. last year. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, so Scott's in the bus. Kyle's breaking in. We're talking elite retreat twenty twenty four today. So, Kyle, you were you were here a couple weeks ago, but Scott and I and Paul have been together, but. This is our fourth week in a row talking a little bit about next gen elite retreat. Hell yeah. Yep. 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 I think it's been four weeks around that time. Yeah. A- and so where we left off was hey, let's get our initial list of invites, our golden ticket winners, which is kind of different than Willy Wonka because they get to like find it. But we're not even doing that. We're just picking people. So maybe we'll let some other people come too, but we'll see. Um, and then if we look further than that, it's basically about how do we get those people excited, right? And then how do we continue to showcase, especially the experiences that people have already had. So Paul, you were talking about those questions. We already got some of them. You added another one to the list. And our goal is going to be to, on top of all the other content that everybody's already captured, right? Because we all, like Jabron has those dope videos that he made, um, you know, and that captures you know, part of his experience there and his perspective, because that was kind of the cool thing for me in watching his videos each year was like, oh, shoot, I didn't even like know that that happened or like see the island from that angle. And so even though like, like, I guess point is like each person brings it even a different way that they film or that, you know, um, there's some character to it. So I think that's pretty sweet. And then now we'll have the actual like, or orating right like a lot of people asking the questions I, paul how do we want to set that up is do we want to have someone like interviewing them basically posing the questions to them and just capturing it in like a interview session or how do we want to do it talking about the questions yeah because scott like i think we want like video clip we want like audio 
like voiceover stuff, right? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I- we have that whole sheet, that doc going, don't we? Yeah. Yep. I have it pulled up right here. Let me. I'll share it with the screen here because I have those questions laid out here. I'm just kind of getting it like. Quick, quick question though. Would it be kind of cool, maybe, for like those questions to get at like asked by the cameraman instead? Like, I don't know if that's like a type of yeah, yeah. I don't think we're gonna want. Yeah, totally agree. I don't think we're gonna need to put the uh, video on the cameraman. I totally agree with that. Or on the uh, in a interviewer. I think you get it. It's focused focused on the person whose experience it is. Totally agree. Yeah, I I just didn't know if you guys were like cameraman interviewer and then person but if we just had um just the cameraman interviewing as well i think that would probably be a little more like personable and you get like their interaction a little better yeah okay so are we actually thinking about actually recording of a video video uh footage of the person being asked the question I think that's the best way to do it because we we the reason we even brought up these questions and i see you at the top you have icebreaker was like hey how do we capture the essence of what the retreat is? And, you know, we all are going to have a slightly different take on it, right? And so the best way to capture it is really to capture the voice of the people. And get so, those small snippets. Yep. And so, Paul, that's where I'm getting at. Like, sure, you could have everybody write it down and like, hey, we email us your answers. But having people just like sit down and talk, and you're not going to get it right away, right? And the, and the whole point was, let's roll out the content that we already have that's clippable and easy and let's go, let's run fast. But then for like the cool product where we really want to showcase the essence of this thing, let's do the full blown like docu style where we bring, you know, over the course of, you know, a couple months, we can easily everybody come over. It doesn't have to be on the same day. We don't have to rush it. Uh, But then we get that full take. We collect everybody's content. So then like you, you talk three months down the road and we have a treasure trove and put the final polish on everything um, for that like feature thing we were talking about in the meantime you can have all the shorter stuff go out you don't have to wait to do that gotcha so just have clips of of their answers um you know go along with uh with like a video so to speak so it can be more um intentional and people people on the outside can see what it means to the people that have uh, done it in the past yep exactly it really capture it and that's because it's more about like uh like You good? What the, what the purpose is? Did we lose? Did I lose you for a second? Yeah. Yes. So many froze. Yeah. I gotta talk to AT and T, bro. They're advertising gigabit internet. This this podcast is not sponsored by AT and T. Uh, they they're clocking in at like, I don't know, something small. It was like maybe a, th- I don't know, tenth of what they advertised. Maybe a hundred megabits at one point. I don't know, maybe even less. I don't want to misadvertise at thirty we megs. Starlink for. Uh... <sighs> Next yeah, this one. podcast is sponsored by Starlink soon. Let's go, Elon. Yeah, get get it. we'll we'll start hosting it on X instead got, of Google. I got a I got a hook in SpaceX, so who knows? He did work with the Ukraine stuff, uh, Starlink. Ooh, there you go. He's in. We'll see. Pending. Let's go for it. Sounds good. So, all right. Yeah, I think we're all dialed in. Like that's the point of the question. So, if we need to take these back and workshop many more, we can. Um, but Paul, good, good ad. I think leaving it kind of, oh, we're losing um, you again, at and yeah. Oh, no way. Bill, we're losing uh, again. Who's recording this, Billy? Are you recording this? Yeah, I am. That's not going to be right, good for cool. the video. Cool. It's fucking, okay. fucking at and bro. They just buried what? the cable. Maybe they buried it wrong. <laughs> There'll be bits and pieces of gold. Yeah, dude, I'm getting Wi-Fi from the bus outside in the parking lot for my apartment. <laughs> so I'm picking up Wi-Fi. Wow. Xfinity? Uh, um, yeah, I got Xfinity, yeah. Yeah, that's all. at and T. Oh, boy. Yep. It's that Xfinity 10G or 10 gig or whatever, 10X. That's what it is. We yep. just need the rocket fiber back in the life. That was a solid connection. Dude, what is going on with rocket fiber? Is that still a thing? They got sold to... Uh, a company called snip which sounds like i mean i guess you're cutting cable but like bro if you're operating a fiber optic cable company snip seems like a bad brand so this yeah. podcast is also not sponsored by snip <laughs> but they're still around they're still doing stuff i think so i just they're only in the, the downtown area maybe like also in cleveland i don't know where all their wire is 
Didn't they, they have to like dig up the entire street just to put like wire well, on the ground? That was the point. Is they did it while the queue line was already being built with the rail yeah. track. So they just said, screw it. Let's put some cable down at the same time. Take advantage of the, the major, you know, cost is digging it up. So if it's there, if it's already dug up, just lay the cable. Yeah. I think it was some okay. guys in, in, in capital markets from the from the crew at Rocket that were like, screw it. Let's just build an internet company. Nice. Yep. The more you know. The more you know. What do you say, Paul? I was just saying, uh, you, you got caught off on that second time. What, what were you mentioning? Were you talking about the questions and uh, you were saying the add-ons? So I Yeah, I mean, I think yours is great, right? It's, it's open-ended, but like, is there anything else we want to add, right? I think you want to ask an open-ended question. But then do we, is it like Kyle, as you look at it, Scott, as you look at it, is there anything else you guys want to add to this list? Um, Maybe it'll just come naturally. Maybe we'll just get some more questions while we're uh, rolling. For sure. And I think that's what it should be conversational too. Like you shouldn't force it for sure. Um, but yeah. then you can always go, maybe it's like you ask a question once the conversation runs dry. And so you're, the, the interviewer is almost like, just talk and let them like free, free ball on number one for as long as possible. And then you can do the same, you know what I mean? Because then let people just open up. Yeah. I I was going to rebuttal off of that, of just kind of let the conversation flow. Like you can kind of, you can ask these questions as like bullet points, but like kind of just like let it like flow as a normal conversation. You don't want it to be like too interviewee, but like, you want it to still be personable as well. So, yeah. And this could be a trial run too to see how it goes, see how it looks with some clips. I, uh, I like the questions. Uh, we could probably maybe like just put seven of like what would, um, what, what do you bring? Is it like what, what do you bring to the community maybe? That's interesting. Yeah, I like that. Like, because like we, like, Scott, you do photography, Paul, fitness, uh, Billy and I, we're kind of doing the golf thing right now. And, and like, we all kind of have our different takes of like what elite means to us. So it's kind of like to final, like to wrap it up, like, what do you as your elite self bring to the elite community? Kind of what we were talking about yesterday a little bit, Billy. So I don't know if you guys like that, but no, that, that, that sounds good in regards to a linking uh, brand back to the, um, back to what each of us do. So absolutely. And by the way, just a caveat, all these questions, they're not necessarily in order how we would ask them in a, in the, once the, it, the interviewee gets, you know, post the question. So it, it's all depends on how we want to have it flow. Uh, especially, the, yep. uh, let me see the question real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for individuals that have been, so actually number six, number six could potentially be bumped up to the top as like, kind of like also the icebreaker for them. Cause then they get right into it. You know, it's, it's, it's focused on them and their experience in the retreat. And then it can flow with other more general questions, uh, that, that, that can apply to everybody else. I like yeah. it. Sounds good. So, Paul, I'm assuming as the host, co-host of the State of the Grind podcast, that you would be a good candidate to be the interviewer. Uh, sure. I'm just it would have to we have to set up a date for us to. Yeah, 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 totally. So I think it'll just be based on your schedule. Um, we got a venue here we can use at the new HQ, or we can you know whatever works for you best. Um, I don't think we like Scott. What do you imagine from like actually capturing visuals of these people? Is it more like purely audio, or is it like do we want to have some like backdrop where we're like interviewing them and get the footage? Like for this, I'm picturing our audio going over video clips that we've already recorded from like the trip and stuff, and maybe cut back back and forth between like whatever we're recording here and okay yeah so you do want some video of being recorded and then like but like mostly it'll be clips but like you want to show a face with the voice to start right yeah for, yeah for sure kind of just like a transition easy transition like if it's like yep what does the elite trip mean to you and then it's like paul answering and it's like a cut to like the bow and then the dock and like yeah. all, all, just to like pull it together 
That's what I was envisioning too. Yeah, good, good. Uh, thanks for bringing that up, Scott. Yeah, like in regards, we don't need to have because then it'd be it take away the attention of like the person watching the video. Like we obviously don't want to have a whole clip of the video being asked. We could take the part of the clip of like the main question after the interview, like Jabron, you mentioned Billy, and yeah. then as Jabron is answering whatever question it goes to, to Scott's point, it showcases a clip of, of the Manitou of past retreats, maybe of him as well. Jabron's uh, experiences in the second retreat, the third retreat, so forth. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. Cool. And we can kind of find in the edit, so it doesn't have to flow, like, all the questions don't get to flow together and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Kind of, It'll be like what the we'll gems come out, together. right? Like, some people answer certain questions better and have a more eloquent answer or, like, just be more inspired. Yeah, I love it. Sweet. So, and then Paul, you talked about because uh, it sounds like we're good there. Uh, the fireside chat portion, which I assume you have up there, is icebreaker. Is that the same kind of thing where, like, night one kind of campfire, you're breaking down some of these questions so that people that might be semi new relative to like you who's been around for like seven years, um, uh, you know, and how they perceive the culture. Yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, we could definitely have the, the fireside chat that Friday before things kick off. You know, if the, the plan is to have that elite um, kick back on the island right Saturday afternoon up to, upwards up to uh, Saturday night where I, where I could also see us having another bonfire where it's more laid back and actually... Right, like a post kickback. Exactly. Yeah. More like that. So on Friday, it'd be kind of these questions, getting everybody to kind of lay the groundwork for you know why they're here what they yeah. think of things like that yeah so absolutely and it doesn't need to be all with these questions it can be like the main cream of the crop and then if if like uh, we mentioned it it's on the spot where we have a question that makes sense to ask that friday then we do it as opposed to the the uh the video or it could be both like i said it, it doesn't have to be one or the other it can be both for the video questions and the icebreaker questions because that's how this came to be right we we talked about an icebreaker boom questions yeah perfect and my, I, love it. Ends, I just want to be clear uh, I, I don't want to confuse any of you guys yeah i think Wait. go ahead oh i was just gonna say i'm looking for my phone charger but so don't mind me yeah i was gonna say like look whether you're stirring the pot to get someone to speak about their experience and remember what it was like or you're trying to like get across the new people like what the core meaning of the thing is i think it's going to be effective so good stuff i think fitting it in the itinerary that way makes sense do we have an itinerary because i think that that'd be our because it sounds like this is pretty straightforward we'll just you know workshop these if you have anything else before then we'll add it but like i think we do actually yeah, here we go yeah there yeah i was about to say no yeah, there's we're gonna have to blur this out we gotta have to undisclose location we can't be telling people where we're going this is top secret not the blur, the blur. <laughs> right. so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, cool. Go. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Um, yeah, let's see here. Um, because we're just renaming it Elite Island, basically. Comes after. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, cool. I just changed it. We're money. So now <laughs> we'll just clip that part out, or just. I was thinking we can just bleep people's names out too if people do that. And like, oh, yeah. you know, whose wife? We don't even know who that guy was, but his wife, we were talking about his wife. Uh, okay, so let me pull that back up and share that. But yeah, so we got the itinerary. Um, let's just run through it because like, Kyle, you weren't here last time, so we'll, we'll get you up to speed on that. Uh, basically, the OG and whoever is really down would get it on Wednesday because the feedback we got for the sixth retreat this year was, hey, cool, loved it, but we would have come if it was actually longer like it used to be like i don't want to drive all the way up there uh and then not be out there for more than two nights so bringing back the four night play for the main crew and the people that can actually handle uh huge and so we'll arrive there on wednesday uh i don't know if you guys are all be there that day but i know paul and i probably will be Maybe, Paul, I don't know. You tell me later, but I know we're going to probably at least it'd be a little bit early because we'll go set up and then we'll go camp on the other side, right? Yeah, we can scout out the uh, uh, areas. And, of course, I'll confirm, you know, if I can make it for sure. I mean, this we're, we're ahead of time, August 7th, I'm sure. Cool. 
Yeah, and then even if it was like the eighth, you know what I mean? Like as long as you got there before like the 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 main, because I assume, and we might even give people the option to expand, but like the the key programming for like the big group will be from Friday through Sunday, whereas Wednesday and Thursday will be like the OGs. Gotcha. Is there a ferry that goes out Thursday between Wednesday? And I guess it, I mean, I'm assuming peak season there will be, but I, again, that's not. I I think there is. Okay. Not not 100. percent We got it. There has been in the past. I don't think there should be any change. Like when you and Jabron came out different day that one, you know what I mean? I think we've had that option. So in the off season, I know like right now or like towards the end of the season or earlier in the season, there's not right. They have limited days, but in the core heart of the season, when we're going to be up there, we should be fine. But, uh, and so I guess this, and we need to add this in the itinerary because we just talked about it. So let's write that in here. Right. So we said, uh, icebreaker happens here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I was going to say when I was on a walk, I was the last day I talked to one of the like local dudes that like comes to the island all the time. And he said that sometimes like the mosquitoes are really bad if we're going and, like this year, they were any because it was like cold, like it was chilly for that time of year there. But I don't know, like that's just something on my mind. So if that's like in the itinerary or if we uh, like the newer people. Oh, you're talking about bug spray and supply list? Yeah, like supply list. Like, I don't know if we've gone yeah. over supply list yet, but that's just. No, first, I mean, yeah, that's totally random thought, but no, I no, just. No, no, no. no, that's good. So part of the thing is we're going to be able to look at right there, gear list. Uh, and we got our scout master, right? Our Eagle Scout, Gerald who's done this gear list over and over again. So we have a gear list out there. Yeah. We're going to update it. And we're going to like, we Scott brought up a cool Look. idea last week was, or two weeks ago, whatever it was. As they have these deals at REI and other stores, um, especially with black Friday. Yeah. People can just buy the stuff then. And so then that's our way of getting them committed more than a deposit. If they buy a backpack, they're in, you know what I mean? No, they're not going to sure. flake out like Tony the Tiger last minute on us. They're bought in. Yeah, or you can even show that you don't need a lot of stuff. To be honest, that's another yeah. thing too. You, need you a don't need you don't need a lot of stuff, but you need the correct things. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's important you to bring need... basics. We need like like yes. the needs, like in an email or wherever we invite yeah. who um the needs the wants and so forth and the miscellaneous stuff that you wouldn't need, especially on food. You know, food is sometimes what gets even some of us, right? Like we think we need this, but then it ends up holding us back or vice versa. You brought too little and you have one day left or half a day left. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely food. Number one, for sure. Yeah. So we'll dial that in hundred percent and we'll start tagging it. Like, so gear list, it's going to be yeah. Gerald, Daniel approved. Oh, yeah. and actually, now that you mentioned him, Billy, sorry to cut you off real quick, but actually what we can actually ask of Gerald once it gets closer to the day or even before is if he is willing to like take a video of him like packaging, just trying to give like a, a demo just uh, for people that Ooh, oh, like, pack demo. it gets him included and, and we can post it on, uh, send it as a link either on email or we just post it on the elite page as well as the Instagram, things like that, where Gerald can actually, you know, it's like a authentic way of, of, of initiating people that Ooh. have been in the wilderness. I have a really good photo I'll send after this. It's all my, all the gear stuff laid out. Like all pretty. I'll send that to you guys after this. This is from last year, but that's huge. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Okay, cool. And so my... we'll have that great call there. And yeah, so we'll have all and I think the key thing is like yeah, Scott, I agree. We're not trying to be like, hey, buy everything. Buy seventy five thousand things on Black Friday. It's like take Black yeah. Friday to make sure you have a good backpack. Right. We saw what happened to Vaughn. Oh yeah. When he, when he bought a Dude. cheap backpack. Right, right. Yes. He was dragging ass in the first mile and his fucking the whole the straps broke, everything. We gotta show a picture of that. That was fucking We wild. gotta get a video clip of that. Shout out Vaughn, Jasper. Jasper. Yeah, so we'll have to make sure that people know hey, invest in a good backpack, get a good tent or um hammock. hammock. If you're not if you're new to it, I'm gonna think you know, recommend people do the, the tent to start maybe bring a hammock second because they're not going to be hiking too much. That's the benefit of going to luxury Island over here. Uh, um, because the hike to the campsite is short. It's a mile. Right. Yeah. 
True. At least those that decide to stay in the main one, which is going to be majority of newbies, maybe. Yeah. So we have one minute left, and I'm going to break it down. So you guys got uh, some more invites. Sounds like Scott, you. AT and T. AT and T. Or AT and T. AT and T. It's time to change it from AT and T. <laughs> the Xfinity Why? or something. I'm <laughs> it's long this time. There you go. AT and T's getting a call, bro. AT and T is not sponsoring this. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is. Bull <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this before it goes too bad. But um, yeah, I think we just gotta get the final list of who's coming. And we'll start that by our initial list of invites. So, Paul, you'll be in charge of that. You can make sure that Scott and Kyle have their people. And then maybe a quick thing to Andreas and Lucy and Gerald to say, hey, is there anybody else you want to invite for the retreat next year? Uh, and then we'll start going. Yeah, That's I might good. even have already people from Gerald's on the list. I think Vic, uh, Vaughn, and then they might bring, you know, either girlfriends or, or friends, whatever. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's up to us. So, yeah, Kyle, Scott, since you guys are already here, you guys could uh whenever whenever you get a chance say as soon as possible just uh, start adding your people uh billy and i mentioned five so just think yeah. of maybe top five that you would bring and that would be interested in in tagging along or in camping in general that'd be huge cool yeah. um is there we already have like a flyer for next year or something or like do we have like a an elite retreat thing that I yeah can it post? should be in your email the email that you got Perfect. Right. That cool. photo the photo. It's the save the date image. So you can send that to the people you're inviting. But like that's the whole yeah. point. We just need your like Paul, he doesn't know where to put it because he doesn't have the list. So you send him the list. He can get okay. I, I, I have the list. I have the list. Oh, okay, I'm, cool. cool. So just add him to that. You don't have to do anything else. Just add him to that and, and like maybe feel them out. See, like, hey, these people are they ready for this? Um yeah, you know. add your up uh, real quick, Billy. Uh, add your people, uh Kyle, and also if you can ask them for their email, that'd be huge. Okay, cool. Aside yeah, from, sure. aside hey, from yeah, if you already have the email too, great. And it's just like, hey, are they a good candidate? This will be the save the date email that we'll send out. And we're just looking for the finalized list. So we send it out and we start rolling. Perfect. Yep. Doesn't well, mean that we're not going to make changes and new people can't get invited, right? Like you said, because, you know, Paul might have a new girlfriend. You know, we'll see. Like Kyle might have a new girlfriend. We'll see. I don't know. I'll be single for a while here. Yeah, we'll My man already himself oh come on dog we'll see i see. love this thing i love the single life though no strings attached nothing to worry about like this is this is awesome once you once you get a girlfriend you can't play golf as much hey uh, you heard it here it. folks golf, the golf is there, unless you get a girlfriend that loves golf just as much as you and is as competitive as you then it's, uh, facts then then she'll kick your ass and be more more of a golfer so <laughs> There That's it is. Keeps, keeps you on your toes. Yes. Gentlemen, anything else you guys want to add in regards to itinerary questions, uh, ideas, brief ideas that we could essentially break off on uh, between now and next meeting? Um, How to pack it. We probably... We probably need to. I don't know. I jumped in five minutes late, but do we have like our music and all that stuff and lights and sound stuff? Because that's probably yeah. Here he is. The kickback. I'm just saying if we're if we're doing I that, we're, we're, let's talk about that next time. Right. The stuff that we do. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. Great topic. Kyle. Yeah. I'll put that in right. the agenda for next week, and we'll come back to it. Music. Awesome. Also, uh, like potentially start getting names of people, like as a list of, of. Oh, I already, I already got the the headliner. I'm flying out from South Central Los Angeles. We got an up and coming rap sensation, and then I'm working on some guys here local too. Um, one of them is already on the invite list. He just doesn't know he's performing yet, and we just have to figure out how to get his guitar or ukulele. Because I'm telling you, when this guy shreds up that bonfire with the strings, it's over. It's over. Nice. Is this also from South Central, or is this a no? Separate? No, this is someone you know that you just talked about, and he happens oh. to play the guitar at bonfires, and we just have to convince him to bring a guitar and hike it one mile. I bet, bet, bet. Perfect. Love it, love it. I wonder if we could recruit people from and they're like around the area too, like 
musicians or like live bands from up there and be like, hey, just hop on the ferry or something like that. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. And well, let's make sure they're close friends before we do that. Yeah. Yeah. If it means we have to do some networking and go up and do a couple shows and check them out and talk to them, then yeah, let's do it. Let's, that's like easy right. research and fun research yeah. to do. Less moving parts. Boom. Love it. Cool. All right, gents. Great episode of the Elite Workshop. We'll figure out how this is going to go live, but it'll go live sometime. You got your, you know, great clips here. A lot of great ideas. Yeah. And surprise guest, Kyle Flowers. Love it. Keep showing up, Kyle. Love this. Oh, oh, I will. Gentlemen, until next yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, next Have a good Wednesday. rest of your week. Likewise. Yeah. Have Peace. a good one, guys. Later. Peace.